Well, but there it is, I'm, you know, there it is. But I mean, it makes sense, you know, because those of us who have been uh, on your team or paying attention to you for the last several years um, know who you are. And I think in some sense, your enemies know what you are. They know that a voice like yours carries a tremendous amount of weight, that their fictions will not survive in the context of a countervailing force like that. And so that's why they come after you the way that they do. Um, but, you know, the fact is people are getting wiser over time. They're recognizing what an attack looks like. You know, at some level, they vary a little bit aesthetically, but the overall picture is the same. And there's a new and one planned, apparently. So the next thing, oh, yeah. Told, yeah, the next thing, this is something that hasn't happened yet, but is apparently coming. A financial expose of my my uh, uh, my I don't know economic existence. So you know, which will be accompanied by claims that I'm exploiting everyone and 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 well. Yes, they're going to come after you for succeeding and for people doing you know what what they can in order to well, I live get you such to keep a, going. I live such a sybaritic existence. I drink sparkling water and nothing else ever. And I eat nothing but meat, ever. And so my luxuries, this is so, con con it's so absurd. My luxuries have been um, high-end toothpicks and sparkling water. <laughs> well, I sometimes wonder when I look at um, uh, attacks on, on you, if the idea is this. There are a certain number of people who haven't spent any time listening to you yet. And if they did, they would quickly gather that you're not what your enemies are portraying you as. So the idea is there has to be a constant stream of uh, suggestions that there's something deeply wrong with you in order to get people not to check in with that question. You know, it's like, um, you know, Julian Assange, right? The number of things that have been said about Julian Assange that would make you think, well, I don't know what's going on there, but there's something clearly is going something. on. Yes, right. Right. And so the, the idea is it has the stink that they create around you or Julian Assange or another figure that they regard as very dangerous uh, has to be sufficient to drive most people away from even checking for themselves. And I don't think it's working in your case, but, um, but I do think- Well, that that's so far- it doesn't seem to, but you know, there's always the possibility that it'll be the next one that'll work. And it's not like I have any shortage of things wrong with me. There are things wrong with me, you know. Now, whether they're ethical things or not, that's a whole different question. But like nobody has a, nobody has a, uh, what? No one has an untrammeled conscience, that's for sure. So, and I'm not too worried about the economic attack. I mean, I, I'll just make my, if it gets out of hand, I'll just make all my finances public. I mean, I've never made any um, apologies for being an evil capitalist. So I think yep. actually I, all the things I've done, I've tried to use market forces to modify because I think it's a really good source of feedback. You know, like I've produced these um, processes to help people plan and assess their personalities. And, you know, we thought about giving them away for free, but free is actually a really bad price. And once you start making things and starting to put them out in the environment, you find out very rapidly that pricing is very complex and you have to get the price right and free is not the right price. First of all, if people will only use it if it's free, it might actually not be any good. And that's a signal. So why not use that signal? That's, that's how it's appeared to me. And then you have to make the thing sustain itself so it has to generate some income and anyhow that that from what i've heard that's the next thing that's going to happen so yeah um if well, you let, let, we we should stop pretty quick i guess although i'm really enjoying this and we will definitely do it again i would really great. like that i had a very fun conversation with you it's so nice to talk about what are essentially scientific hypotheses i miss that so much um, because I don't have my graduate students anymore. <laughs>